Okay, so now we now understand the data much better than before. And to clean the data, the recommendation is that you want to preserve the original data always and make uh, your own copy and do manipulation or cleaning there. So, so you know, you want to copy, come over to this uh, sheet at the uh, left bottom, bottom left, and there you are going to say, um, move or copy, right? So there's a, an option, move or copy, and I'm going to make a copy, create a copy here, and click on OK. And the copy has been created. Form response is one, and I have parentheses there. I'm going to move. And I'm going to rename. Rename. I'm going to say um, cleaned. Okay. So form response is one cleaned. That's what I have. And I, I will start to clean the data. So we can use uh, various methods to do that. Um, and we'll learn more about it um, next when in two weeks when we are using open refine. But anyway, uh, so this one is five and five inches. So I'm going to say five times 12 plus five, right? So that's uh, inches, you're converting it. So 65 inches. And uh, similarly, uh, similarly, five to foot eight inches. So five times 12 inches plus eight inches, right? So you, you can convert it. Let me zoom in for you. 73 inches. So in this case, you just delete inches and 63 inches. By 10, by 10 has to be changed five times 12 plus 10 inches. So I know this is 70 inches. And five seven, so five times 12 plus seven, six seven inches. Five eleven equals five times 12 plus 11. 71 inches equals 71 inches. 511 again, five times 12 plus 11 inches. And six one, six times 12 plus one. So now 73 inches. So height is done, right? Height is done. And I'm going to change the, the variable name. I want to simplify it. So height, how about that? Right? And then make it simpler, height. And the third thing, Third column is I belong to happy family. So I'm going to say just happy family, shorten it, happy family. And then here I need to do some data transformation here. So I know that I need to make a table here. So let's make a table here, strongly agree. So let's copy this, strongly agree. And agree. And neutral. Disagree. Strongly disagree, right? Is there anyone did a strongly disagree? OK, 
Okay, so here's the label. And this number. So assign the number. I want to give strongly agree five, agree four, neutral three, disagree two, and strongly disagree one. Right? And I'm going to make a table to make a reference, all borders. And I'm going to change it to black and the color is white. Or I can change the color to yellow. So now I have created a reference, reference uh, uh, number there. And then I have to go to So let me do this for you. I'm going to copy. So I think I would have to copy from height, height to question number 10. I'm going to copy it and paste it at column N so that I can manipulate that. So here it is. And I have happy family here. And here I'm going to use a function called VLOOKUP. So because I want to automate what I have done so far, so VLOOKUP, there's a function called VLOOKUP and that will help you to um, see the reference table automatically and pick the right value that matches with your lookup value and uh, retrieve it and bring it to you yourself. So that's what we are going to be doing. So if you say VLOOKUP, it says VLOOKUP, lookup value, table array, column index number, and range lookup. So um, what value do we look up? VLOOKUP and lookup value. And I'm going to go all the way to column D and say strongly agree. That's the uh, um, information that we are looking up. right? And then comma, we have to put comma there, insert comma, right? So VLOOKUP, D2, and comma. And as we know, then which, which uh, table we are going to use as the basis to look up the value, right? That's the thing that we need to define. So now we know we already created this uh, lookup table. And I'm going to say, this is the table that I am looking up, right? So I'm going to select the table from D61 to E66. In my case, in your case, it might be different depending on where you created your table. So D61 to E66 is created right here. And I'm going to insert now another comma, right? I have done that. And if you have done that, another thing that you need to do is now which column you want to retrieve. That's what it says. So which column value you want to retrieve. So we have only two columns. If the lookup value matches with this label, then retrieve uh, the value from column two, right? We have the column one and column two. So retrieve values from the second column from the left. That's what it means. So insert two, enter two, and insert comma. And another thing that you have to determine is range lookup. Here you have to uh, say, you know, what if you are your value is ranging between uh, between strongly agree and agree, or between the rows, or between the classes. Right. In this case, you have text, so you don't have to worry about. However, sometimes you might have number instead of text in your label. At that time, you know you have to choose what 
uh, what uh, option you are going to use. For example, your label could be between 10 to 20. If, if my GPA is 0 to 2, uh, then it's going to be D, right? 2 to 3, then it's going to be C. The C uh, 3 to 3.9 is going to be B. And above nine, it's going to, above four, it's going to be A, right? So at the time, you're going to use an a, a option called um, true or false. And in this case, no, don't use approximate value, just use uh, the, the exact value. So in that case, you're going to use the option called false. So false is the option that you want to put in your VLOOKUP function. And if you have done that, hit enter and see what happens. Now it uh, retrieved five because the value in D5 is strongly agree, right? So that's what it is. One more thing that you need to do is actually go back to the function. So for example, if you just you know, copy this down, so select the cell, and bottom right, you have this um, square, right? And then you click it and scroll down, then you are copying. However, soon you find that it's a um, pound sign and not applicable, right? So the error message happened. Um, can anybody tell me why this error message happened? Why did, did this error message appear? Can anybody tell me? Not sure. Okay. That's okay. Anybody found the answer? It's because the word agree and disagree show up in multiple spots. Um, no, we, we, we specify them, right? So agree, disagree, we did put it in our label, so it shouldn't have, it shouldn't happen. Anyone else? So it's because um, actually, you know, look at here, the function is changing, right? So D2, D61, E66, and then if you look at here, D8, D67, and so forth, it is changing. Um, I think it is right for us to change D2, which is the value that we are looking up. However, D61 to E66 shouldn't change, right? So what you can do, there are two ways. The first thing is you want to use absolute reference rather than relative reference. Uh, to do that, you have to indicate that, yeah, you, you are not supposed to change the, the column reference. So the row and column reference have to stay as they are. And you, although I'm copying it down, you should not change it. That's what you're telling to Excel by adding these dollar signs, right? So. So let's copy it again and see what happens. So in that case, you know, the error message disappeared saying, you know, everything is converting as it should and that, that's what happened. So if you don't want to go back to go down to the bottom of the data, you can just double click on this uh, bottom square, small square there, double click on it and it's going to copy everything. Some of the students might think, oh yeah, you know, I'm not familiar with this adding dollar signs and everything. One thing you can do, I think which Google sheet does not have the function, you can actually 
to you know hold or specify this this uh, reference region and then go to um, this command bar which is in my case d61 right underneath a uh, paste and there you are gonna name this uh, um, this table I'm gonna say happy family right so I'm gonna name this area as happy family Oh, I'm not supposed to have, say, what about family? Let's say family. Okay, family works. So instead of using the reference, what I can do is that I can just use family here. Then you don't have to worry about dollar sign, right? So now you are using the data reference, the table reference as a family rather than D61 to something else, right? So, so um, you, you can, the beauty of using Excel is that uh, uh, you can define the area as a name that you can remember. You don't have to go back and forth. You can use this uh, definition all the way in this, in this file. It does not work in other file. You have to make another reference uh, name in that case, but uh, you can do this way too. 